Welcome back to Digi Bros, everybody. What's up? You clicked. Wait. I clicked continue. Yeah. Were you playing yourself? So. Really? I've been keeping a secret from you very oh, carefully. Oh, once in a lifetime, take a chance <laughs> at the right time, the glory you'll see. <laughs> I've you been were playing yourself. You're pretty far. You're wearing I, uh... this armor. I I beat Bloodborne. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> this nigga beat Bloodborne in the time between Whoa. the last recording wow. and this recording, which is no about wonder six the days. controller was so covered in cheese. Yes. This nigga was sweating all over it. I spent about twenty four <laughs> hours <laughs> beating. <laughs> Bloodborne in the last four days. Wow. And everyone I knew but no you. no idea. You're the only one who didn't know. I have not con con into your room in it four days. It was me, Austin. No, remember when you came in and I kept being on the home screen of the PS4? And you're oh. like, you were like, what are, you, what are you playing? Why are you on the home screen? Ah. That's because I you was... You were clicking off. <laughs> I was hating that I was playing Bloodborne I was like, what's you? this motherfucker watching porn on his fucking PS4 or something? Gotta click off of it? <laughs> See, I, wow. thought, I thought you were going to click load game. Oh, and nice. 31 hours. Jesus Christ. Oh, 31. Jesus. <laughs> so You're level 90. Yeah. So, I huh. I beat Bloodborne. Um, How'd you do? All right. So, here was my secret. Uh-huh. Because uh, I was watching you play, and you kept telling me, like, vitality's all that matters, you know, and I figured out about the... You have a bottomless box that automatically refills your blood vials, so, you know, you don't yeah. really have to... Um, you know, go back and get blood vials over and over again. You can just stock up on them at the uh -huh. beginning, right? Yeah. So, so I I turned on the game. I started it up. I put on biggest problem. That's why I got through all the biggest problem. Oh uh, yeah. That's why I bought the bonus episodes. <laughs> that's I, fourteen hours of biggest problem in the universe that you got through. More Probably than more, fourteen. Yeah. yeah. That was like twenty hours. Um. So that's why I listen to all the biggest this problem dark podcasts. As shit. What the fuck? Oh, I have it set. You're gonna have to change the settings on the TV because I turned it. I turned down the brightness God considerably for uh for my own sake. Uh, this is a bitch. And then I'm gonna have to put on sunglasses. Are, are my sunglasses over there? What's with your eyes? I don't know where you're. Uh... You're gonna want to hit the menu button, and then uh. Very exciting content. <laughs> that's not it. That's, that's the fucking input. Hit menu. <laughs> Fig configuring the TV, go to, no, go back, uh, see picture mode, set it to normal. Uh, that's, that's bright as fuck. Uh, standard, Damn. is that it? I guess that's it. It still looks really fucking bright. I guess the game brightness is probably turned up. This is tedious as hell! <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I put on biggest I'm problem. I'm very fucking proud of you for actually going and beating Bloodborne. Yes, I beat everything except I didn't. I did not beat Orphan of Coasts. I could not beat him. Really? So you didn't beat Bloodborne? What? What the <laughs> fuck? I finished the fucking game. I beat Bloodborne. <laughs> I didn't kill Orphan of Coasts. Why not? Because I was fucking. I wanted to be done with the game. I wanted us to wow. fucking play it on the show today, and uh, I wanted to beat it last night because I'd been playing for fucking. Uh -huh. I was getting nothing done. All I did was play thirty hours of Bloodborne. <laughs> I've been like, you know, Davu is sitting there fi just finishing all these though, asterisk man. war videos. You I, were right there. I tried it like six times. Uh, I fucking got him down to like forty percent. He was he's fucking hard, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's real fucking hard. Forty percent, and you don't get any uh. You don't get any help on him either. Oh, is that summon that dude? Yes, yeah, oh, he summoned. <laughs> I did that subconsciously. It Fuck it, let's beat this fucking boss with the summon. Yeah. Well, Hell okay. Yeah. So let me finish. Let me finish my story. See, I don't. I don't play. I, the thing is, Bloodborne is an easy game, if you decide that it's an easy game. Yeah. But this, this uh, Bloodborne is only hard if you decide you want it to be hard. You uh -huh. know, because like the way that. The, the way that my, you know, Victor and, and our friends, Donson and everybody, have played the Souls games is they're always like, I don't use any summons uh, my first go through. I don't use, you know, I, I, I level up at a regular rate, you know, like, <laughs> it's like you're trying to be relatively weak. So the boss fights are, yeah. are, are more fun. So, so it's you're more fighting it at, test. like, an appropriate level, you yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> um, like, Donson will, will refuse to level up his, his, uh... His main character that he does the challenge dungeons with, so he can keep going back and fighting them, and it's still hard. Right, like he, 
that, you know, a lot of Souls fans like these games because they want them to be challenging. And you can en endlessly make it harder for yourself. Yeah. You can not level up at all. You can do this and that. But you can also make it a lot easier for yourself. <laughs> It's yeah, the funny you're, thing. You're like, a bitch. These games are very <laughs> customizable. They design them so that you can play up to whatever, you know, like capacity you feel is appropriate for uh -huh. yourself. So not only are there lots of in-game summons, but if you were to play online, you could summon other players. I didn't do any of that because I didn't want it to hook up, like, you know, PS4 to the yeah. internet. And I hate playing online games. But, like, you know, you can summon multiple people to help you with bosses if you're really that bad. Yeah. You can level up a whole lot. You can, if you were playing, like, Dark Souls, there Shit. was, like, if you wanted to play heavy, you could just have super strong armor and super high defense and fucking nothing could hurt you. Yeah. You know? uh, I think we talked about in our Dark Souls playthrough how my friend Hippocrit was playing through at the time. And uh, he... It's really like, these games are only hard if you are a stubborn fucking asshole. <laughs> right. And, well, that's the thing. Everyone I know is a stubborn asshole yeah. who all play But it's funny way, because no know? one no one ever talks about the games being easy because of summoning. Like well, it, that's... It, it's like everyone who tries to play it tries to play like that's a stubborn asshole. That's not true asshole. at all. That's not <laughs> true at all. If you talk to people online, none of them... No, most people don't play it like you guys. Uh -huh. Like, only the people who want the game to be hard play it like it's hard. You know, people who... Well, then how do people think it's hard if they... If they don't play it the hard because people way. don't know that. People <laughs> hear from the fucking zealots who are like, "Oh, it's yeah. the look." Every game that people say is hard is always because oh, they spider. want it to be hard because yeah. they want to brag about. It. It's just like Eve Online. Like when people who play Eve talk about Eve, they make mm. it sound like it's the hardest game in the universe. Yeah. But like I've I've heard from multiple people that like if you just play it normally and you don't go into the high level play, it's not really that hard. Uh -huh. You know, it's just like a normal game <laughs> that just takes a little bit of thought and learning the mechanics. You know. But, like, it's not this show-stopping incredible... But people who play it high-level want... They, they have a lot of pride, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. People take pride in their ability to play <clears throat> hard games on the highest difficulty and fucking, you know, oh, and I did everything, you know, and, and I and I did it level one. It was real hard. And then they want to say... It, they also want to say that it's easy if you thought it was hard. Yeah. <laughs> if, like all of our commenters. If you think it's hard, <laughs> they say how, how easy it actually is. Anything that, that I say is hard on this show, I always get that comment of, well, it's not really hard if you do it like this. Right. And I'm like, well, yeah, of course there's a way to make it easy if, so, if you want to make it easy. <clears throat> so Victor had told me, level up vitality because that's the main thing that matters because then you can take more hits, right? Yeah. And I was like, okay, because it, it, it basically, and Donson says that, and see, here's here's the elitism again, right? Because Victor, Donson, and Shade all play this game, and they'll all, like, study each other's play styles and criticize it. And Donson thinks you're becoming too reliant on the high HP now, <laughs> and that course. you're you're letting yourself what play more reckless instead of, uh, I've always you know. played this game recklessly. <laughs> right. <laughs> but that's the thing. If you have a lot of health, you can play a lot more recklessly. If you have a lot of endurance, you can swing your sword around as many fucking times as you want, you know? Yeah. If you have a lot of strength, you'll blow, blow enemies away a lot easier. And, you know, all that's required of you to, to level up more is just to run through areas again. Yeah. Which is not... In this particular game, you actually gain a lot of souls yeah, just by running do. through an area. You can grind pretty easily. You know, it's not hard to grind, as I learned in my playthrough. So, what I did was... I put on Biggest Problem in the Universe. I had a lot of... I had, like, eight episodes of catch-up and 14 episodes of bonus episodes and, you know, the new episodes yeah. that came out today and um, and everything. So, like, there was a lot to listen to. And I was, like... I realized that if you listen to... Because the thing is, I always, like, either play games with... I usually don't play with the game audio because I get sick of it. Yeah. But I usually play it while listening to music. But that is kind of, like, a more... Uh, like... Like, you don't feel like you're doing anything else. You just feel like you're playing a video game and, yeah. like, you're not really getting anything else done in that period of time. Whereas when you listen to podcasts that you were planning to listen to anyway... You feel like you learned something. Yeah, you feel like you're doing... <laughs> you got something you know, done, which is why I love listening to podcasts and playing... Uh, right. Well, there's not a lot games. of podcasts that I listen to. I really oh, just listen shit. to Biggest we're Problem in the, the Universe, Hamlet. which is true for you as well. Uh. Um, so, like... Like, the fact that I was so behind on it meant it was perfect for this, you know, and that I hadn't listened to the bonus episodes yet. Uh. So I was like, all right, I'm going to put on the podcast, and I'm just going to fucking grind at the very beginning of the game until I have, like, a million blood vials. Yeah. So... All I did was, for the first, like, four hours, I just ran through the first area over and over again until I had, like, well over 100 blood vials and was, like, way over level. Wow. So, uh... Awesome. So, 
by the end of the game, my vitality was level like 42, I want to say. Uh -huh. My strength was level 40. My endurance was almost level, or like level 31. Jesus. Something like that. <laughs> so I'm at level 80 by the end of the game. Um, I beat almost every boss on my first try. Because I was way over leveled for everything. Um, awesome. Yeah, because no matter what, when you're leveling up, it always levels defense. So yeah, like, it's easy to get over leveled. That's the like best that. part. If, if you, every time you level up, your defense goes up. So, like, you, yeah. you, you become like just a monster who can take, and, you know, I had so much vitality, so I had, like, super high defense, super high vitality, I could take a million yeah. hits, you know, and this game is very forgiving if you do get beat up because of the reclaiming life mechanic, yeah. where if you get hit... And you had the axe, so that's more of, like, a strength build. And, uh, yeah, the, I had the hunter axe. The, the strength weapons... Which uh, was at level 10 by the end of yeah. the game. But with those weapons, it, it recovers a lot more health when you, uh, right. like, attack back. And I always just how I played the game like the first two or three times. I always had it as leveled as it could be by the time I made it to the next level because yeah. I was you know running through so many times that I got shit tons of blood gems and stuff. <laughs> I have I still have like of the regular blood gems I had like a hundred at the end of the game. I had yeah. like fifty twin and uh, probably close to fifty chunks. You know like by the time I was done. Unfortunately, there's only one blood rock, which is what you, you to ten. You decided to play it in the most grindy possible way. Well, the thing is, it didn't actually take that long. Yeah. And it's a, it's actually a lot of fun to grind in this game because the environments are cool yeah. and you want to, you know, explore it all the way through. And the funny thing is, see, here's the thing. I had watched you, you and, uh, and, and the Game Grumps play through it. And the thing about this game is that when you watch someone else play and they already know where to go and they don't really try to get all the other shit, yeah. then what I always see is you running right through an area and I can see all these offshoots, all yes. these other roads leading to other places and I have no idea where they go. Yeah, that's so, why like, you have to play it yourself. Well, I mean, it, it, not if I was watching someone who did everything, that I yeah. wouldn't have to play it myself. But when I'm watching you guys play, that's why I kept saying that the game looked so big and confusing to me. Uh, because there's so many places that I was like, well, yeah, where does where that I've go? I've already well, been to all go? those places right. and I know what it, so what it all is. So, when I play, what I realized is that everything loops in in this game. Yeah. Like, it's non-stop little <laughs> tiny circles. Like... Whereas Dark Souls is more like you play through a long stretch of level and then it loops back to somewhere you've been before. Yeah. This game is like every path you take loops back to where wow, you God. just were. You uh, know, it's like uh, it's like a million tiny circles leading into each other. And uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, when you go down all those pathways, you realize like you very quickly get a sense of like the whole. Now I know like yeah. the whole map, like the back of my hand, you know, exactly because it's a. Uh, <laughs> you know, you just run through an area twice and you completely have it memorized. Uh -huh. So, like, I definitely learned my way around the game. I could easily... The only place I didn't explore in a lot of depth is uh, the second half of this level, the fishing hamlet. Like, yeah. when, you, when you get past... Because you can just run through this area. Like, yeah. I, I, I did explore this area in full, but there's a there's a part that's really obnoxious at the end of this area. Yes, where uh, there's lots of enemies. And, yeah, I usually <laughs> just run right through that part. Right. So, like... I, I just motherfucker I, the yeah, same that's, guy that's the armor I was wearing when you loaded up my yes. uh, my thing I knew what armor you had oh you're still alive I I just thought you were dead no because <laughs> that shit won't get off the screen god that's annoying but yeah um uh, I wasn't telling you I was telling the audience I'm by so the used way. to playing fucking dragon's dogma right now I keep pressing all the wrong buttons it's driving me insane <laughs> such a different game <laughs> yeah like see the thing is I really wanted to like. Basically, once we started playing through this game, that was when I decided I wanted to play through Bloodborne. But yeah. I, I also wanted to play The Witcher 3, so and I still do want to play that. And I was like, well, I want to beat Bloodborne, but the only way I'm going to beat it is if I don't tell anyone I'm playing it. You uh -huh. know? Like, I didn't tell anyone I was planning to play it. Like, I had been planning to for like a week. Yeah. And I didn't tell anyone I wanted to play it. I didn't tell anyone when I started. It wasn't until I had already beaten Rom that I told Shade and Donson that I've been see. playing through it. And then I <laughs> asked Shade about how to do all the secret stuff. Like, uh, yeah. you know, so I could go fight. So you did go and do all the, yeah, like, those I, secret bosses. I fought the Moon Presence. I fought Ebrietus. I fought, uh, you know, Celestia Lemon Oh! The only, the only things I didn't do was, uh, again, I didn't beat Orphan of Coast. I didn't do, uh, Lawrence, the secret boss of the DLC. Yeah. Um, this motherfucker. I didn't do... There's a couple of hunters I didn't kill, just because I didn't, like, follow yeah, their storylines. I haven't lines. killed all of them, but... Um, and there's... the Like I said, I didn't explore the second half of the fishing hamlet all the way through. He's just stuck. You can just leave yeah. him. Oh, oh I kill him. Well, he has a fuckload <laughs> of... Uh, 
Oh no, oh, he killed the dude! Oh god, that- I didn't even know that guy was there. Yeah, he's there and he's dying, and then, uh... He asked you to go kill the other guy. I completely missed him. Yeah, he gets killed there. by the, the dude who's locked in the cell. I see. And then, um... You can go yeah, kill him there's, now. There's a lot he'll of, invade you of our... I didn't get a whole lot of the weapons that you get from the DLC. I, I see. I kinda... The, with the DLC, I was kind of like... I was kind of trying to finish off the game already, and like... Because I had run... I ran out of Biggest Problem. Yeah. And like, 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 while I was doing the DLC, and I started listening to Sleepy Cast, and then... Which is not as entertaining. So, I was like, I need to be fucking done with this game already. <laughs> I've run out of shit to listen to. And, That's um... Sad. And like... The DLC's hard. <laughs> so, here's the thing. I think this game is a lot easier than Dark Souls. Yeah. And not just because it's fast and all that, but because it's so much more forgiving for small mistakes. That's what I explained before. That's why I like it. <laughs> because you get hit and you don't want the... It's right. not a problem. You just get your health back and yeah. it's awesome. Well, like, it, it's like it, it's mostly helpful for dumb mistakes. Like, if you, yeah. if you run up if to you an enemy... If you just casually fuck up, it's not a big yeah, deal. Yeah, if you run into an enemy and it hits you, it, that, like an enemy that, sh that you should be good against... Gosh, but I you, didn't want to go here. You fuck up and it hits you and then you hit it back, you know, like... like you you immediately gain your health back and it's not a big deal. Whereas in yeah. Dark Souls, like you do and something you can do that dumb, on bosses like, too. You hit by a boss and you just get your health back. I didn't usually do that though. I yeah. usually ran away and he healed. No, especially had, like, when you at, when you have a that saw fucking hammer shit that just heals you like so much and you can put runes on it to make you heal even more. So you can just not yeah. even lose any health. I almost never had less than a hundred blood vials yeah. through the whole game. Like, not only because I was grinding them, but because uh, I would buy them with all the excess souls after leveling up. So yeah. I would just buy, like, 30 at a time or something. <laughs> I always had, like, a huge stock of blood vials. I, I actually hit the cap with quicksilver bullets, because I never used them. Yeah. Dude, I, I always hit, <laughs> I used to always have a shitload until I started uh, shooting all the time. I hit the cap, because you can only hold, like, 500 in storage. Yeah. And it won't let me pick them up anymore, because it, it was, <laughs> like, which is infuriating. But, like, uh... Yeah, so I didn't get everything in the DLC. Uh, I did get. Um, did he get killed? Did I already get the. Sword and I didn't get him? everything that you can get from. No, he's not dead. Oh, yet. the guy didn't kill him. Uh, the other dude's supposed to kill him if you come back at the right time. Yeah, I, I, I got his sword off of him, but I couldn't cool. use it because it takes uh, like 13 yeah. skill. And you need. Uh, it scales off of like the whatever damage. So, uh, Arcane? Yeah. Yeah. It's magical as fuck. So yeah, I oh, oh shit, hell no. where the fuck did he come from? It's the guy who invades you. I never saw him here, in this room. Oh, yeah, because you have to go back, afterwards. Oh, where'd you get the key for this door? From that dead guy. Then you and kill you his just ass. That guy like instantly. He has some dialogue. So is, is he the one who killed. was who would have killed the guy? He did kill the other guy. But not just now because he got hit by the monster. That was what? It, wasn't he supposed to kill the dude who oh, you no. just well, saw? Oh, no. Well, I mean, he's not dead. He's just laying on the ground, like, dying, and then he dies after you talk to him. So he already uh, killed him, and he was on the ground there, like, uh, bleeding out, basically. I see. So he had already, like, stabbed him yeah. or whatever, but he was still alive. Because he, he invades you over and over again, and the guy talks about how he's just being, like, haunted by this guy and stalked out and killed Wait, over so that and over dude again. who just appeared just now up here was him down there? Yes. Okay. Because he invades you with the bell. I see. He's basically like a, a player who invades you. He's it's the same mechanics. <laughs> that is uh that is some yes. trippy shit. Very cool. So yeah, beat uh beat that asshole on my first try because there's hey. a lot of the, like almost all the the hard big bosses have summons like yeah. right outside, and it's always cool. Like for that boss, you summon the the guy with the bucket on his head. Yeah. And um, that one has two summons actually. I did not know that. I, but when you summon people, it makes the boss have more health, so sometimes it's right. just, like, even harder. Yeah, but, but I'm sure if you have a lot of health, like, you know, if I had played it with a lot of health, I'm sure it would have been fine. It's cool that they distract him for you and, like, yeah. uh, you know, make that easier. So, yeah, um, that's it for this episode, but we're gonna keep talking about Bloodborne since I actually beat it and Boop. can talk about Boop. it. Boop. Uh, yeah, whoa. I really, <laughs> finally I really wanted game. to get your reaction, and your reaction uh, was priceless, so I'm glad I did. I can't quit uh, the blood letter. Kept it a secret from you. Next time on Digibrew. Hey.